Sound good, baby? Yep. Oh, shoot. Can you grab me the sponge? The, the sponge? The sponge brush, I think it's... Oh, it's right here on my desk, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did it make it? Yeah. Did I hit color? Uh, well, I didn't catch it, so yes. You ain't got no hands. How you play softball, man? You ain't got no hands. It, I wasn't prepared for the way it was flying at me, okay? <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Today, as you can see, we're... Well, we've decorated. You will have seen this, hopefully, by now. But we're going to be doing a little craft. I got, like, 20 wine bottles, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of them. So I decided I'm going to paint one after looking at some YouTube videos and Pinterest ideas. I'm either going to go with Snowman or Santa Claus, because, you know, it's already Christmas. We need a little bit more Christmas decor, so why not? So, yeah, we're going to get into it. All right, so I think I've decided I'm going to go with the Santa first. I... Just kidding. I've completely decided I'm doing one Santa and one snowman. So we're going to do Santa first. Also realized it had a lot more colors than I thought it did. So I think for the background, I think I'm going to do this apple barrel two blue because I have two of them. And I feel like that's just good to have as a background for at least for Santa. Because then Santa is going to be red and white for the most part. Oh, I don't have like a flesh color for Santa. I also have been corrected. I said flesh color when uh, it's skin color. Why I said flesh, I legitimately have no idea. But I have this burnt orange Pueblo color is what it says. And then I have white. So I'm going to try and mix these together to kind of make a skin color. Is it going to work? I have no idea. Um, if it doesn't, I guess I'm going to go buy paint. So... We're just going to paint the bottle blue for right now. Alright, for the first coat. Oh, this is dangerous. So we got. It looks like it's actually covering a lot more on camera than it is in person, but as you can see, there's like huge spots that are definitely going to need to be gone over. So we're probably going to do for sure two coats, but it's probably going to end up being more like three or four, maybe four coats. Because I don't really want to be able to see through the bottle. First coat is for the most part done. It dried a lot uh, thicker than I expected it to. Like it's not as see-through as I thought it would be. Um, but we're definitely gonna go over with at least one more coat to get it fully coated and then we'll see where we are after that. So I'm gonna get to painting, put on a little video for myself and yeah, y'all are probably gonna hear some nice music now. y'all so as you probably saw in the beginning um i was like freaking out because oh i don't even know if you'll be able to see it but on this side is where i first started painting and when i was using the sponge at first i i don't know if it wasn't all the way dry or if it's because i'm painting on a wine bottle um i've painted on mason jars with this paint before so i'm not like it never had this issue but it almost like peeled off like liquid latex and yeah i got a little worried but the rest of the bottle seems to be okay like there's a couple of spots where it tried to come off but yeah i'm not really sure if i need to let it dry longer in between coats because if that's an issue painting santa claus on top is going to be a very large issue now i have clear spray paint from when i did the bookshelf and if you didn't know i did the bookshelf i will link it i'm not sure which side it goes on but the little eye will be up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I have the clear spray paint, which I can spray it with and then try to do the Santa on top. So I might attempt that if Santa just doesn't work. But looking at the bottle, I'm probably going to have to go for a third round because there's some spots, you know, kind of like right there that you can still clearly see through. 
that's that's where we're at right now round number two i have the bottle number two soaking currently in the sink to get the labels off of it because the labels were a biatch to get off this bottle i will see you when this is dry or when the labels come off of the other bottle Alright y'all, so uh, I did a third, third paint, third coat of paint, wow that was ridiculously hard for no reason. Um, I didn't film it because I wasn't feeling the filming that day, so I just did it and figured I'd tell you about it. Uh, I currently have the label for the other one off, just waiting on it to dry because I had to, you know, soap and water, clean it. Um, I will put my inspo for the Santa Claus on the screen, like here probably i don't know somewhere on the screen will be a picture of what i'm trying to do um i don't really have blue blue i don't have brown so i'm gonna take this it's supposed to be like burnt orange so like maybe a brownish and hopefully this is brown enough if not i will have to add some colors to it to make it brown he's here sorry for the lack of uploads guys we are going to get better we had to Get some things together, and I've been working pretty dang hard yeah, on my channel, so... That's really all it is. He's just working on his channel right now, and we only have one computer with uh, the editing software on it, so... We might have to change that. But yes, we will have more uploads. We will try and do a video or two a week for you guys. We'll start actually putting a schedule. When we make it, we'll put that in the next video, but we're going to get better. 2022 will be more frequent uploads from us that just sounds awful 2022 mm -hmm. 2022 we'll have more I videos just got used to saying 2021 so we're gonna attempt this i don't know how big the chimney should be this is just like an average size wine bottle i'm also really nervous that i'm gonna end up making the santa look really awkward because he's gonna be like all the way up here and like disproportionate but yeah we're gonna go for it and i don't know if it's picking up on camera Probably not, but there's some like little bumpies from where the paint kind of like, oh, you can kind of see one right there, but there's a few of them all over the bottle, so I'm going to try and find this side has no bumpies, so this is what we're going to draw them on. We're going to get into it now. And then we're probably gonna do one more coat because it is a little see-through in some spots, like kind of right there. I was trying to go over it with more paint, but it was, I think it was taking the paint off. But then we're gonna go over it with the brown that I had to kind of make shift again. And then we'll do like outline in black and like do like the little like bricks and stuff in it to make it look like a chimney. y'all so it just took me like 10 minutes to get this color made and then um i thought i was recording and i wasn't so this is i've added the little bag of toys that santa's now carrying um yeah i completely forgot to film that so this is where we're at uh definitely gonna have to go back in for a second coat there and then we will move on to doing you know like the beard and the hat and all that kind of stuff
Hey guys, just thought I'd do a voiceover. So I took a sponge to do the bottom snow where the snowman will be and then decided to try and do the top and it looked more like clouds, so that was a fail. I also wanted to come on and say how hard it was to get this green color and it took so many coats for it to look good, but this is what we got to work with. Alright guys, so this is our final product for the Santo bottle. It ended up having more blemishes than the other one. Like for instance, there's a crack in the paint right there. I'm not really sure where that came from. I think it's the type of acrylic paint. And then there's like bumps on that which had white paint mixed in it. So I think that might have been an issue. It was like an enamel acrylic paint, I think. And then we have the snowman with the Christmas tree, and I think this one turned out much better than the Santa one, but this was also a little easier. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys liked the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you guys will be notified when we post another video, and they will be coming out more frequently.